much better. What's up YouTube, Dennis Films here with another video and today we're talking about how I color grade in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now I know starting off as a filmmaker or if you've been making videos for a while, how daunting the color grade process is and how much of a skill it really is to color grade. Because what you're doing is you have to train your eye. Now there are things to keep in mind when you color grade the mood of your project. So let's say if it's dark moody, then you're gonna want teals in your shadows maybe, or just less warmth and more desaturation. Or if it's a summer vibe, then you're gonna want, say, more colors to pop, more warmth in your highlights. So those are things to keep in mind. I also sell LUTs and effect packs in my store. Link in the description, check that out. And so, well, let's get into it. All right guys, now that we're in the computer, we're in Adobe Premiere Pro. To start off, I'm in the editing workspace, which is at the top, you'll see in the center, you got learning, assembly, editing, color, etc. I'm in editing. To go over the clips we're about to edit, there's two clips. One is during the day, and the other is at night. The reason I chose just these two clips is because I know a lot of times color grading during the day and color grading at night, people have issues with. But to be honest, they're kind of similar. You actually at night would color grade or do a lot less to a color grade than you would during the day. But to get started, let's jump in. We're starting with the first clip, which is Hip Hop Doc featuring Adam Dolla Sign. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our creative panel in the right, click on that. I take that back, we're going to curves. So first things first, what I like to do is add the contrast in. So I know what the colors are looking like before I start manipulating colors. So on the curve, we're gonna add two points, one in the shadows and then one in the highlights. First things first, I'm gonna bring the shadows down. So let's start doing that. As you can see, the image is looking a lot less flat. A little bit better and you just keep bringing it down to what you feel is comfortable to you and your taste so that looks pretty good to me of course we can always come back and readjust next thing is basic correction I'm gonna boost the saturation bring all the colors in so right about there looks good a little bit more 117 <clears throat> Okay, so now that we got that out the way, we're gonna go to color wheels and match. We're gonna go to midtones. We're gonna go ahead and put in the color of skin tone that we want, which represents dark skin tone. So remove it to the warmth a little bit. And don't worry, we're gonna do minute adjustments to everything and then you'll see the final product. And then let's go in the shadows and add some teal. So we're just gonna drag it to the teal just a little bit right there. And now you're about to see where we start manipulating colors. So let's go back to curves. And we're gonna start with hue versus saturation. First things first. Actually, let's not start with hue and saturation. Let's start with hue versus hue. So I'm gonna take my little eyedropper tool. I'm gonna pick the green in his tracksuit. I want it to be a little less green, so more like closer to a teal look, about right there. Don't worry, we're going to get to the skin tones in a little bit, so stay put, please. Okay, now I'm going to change the greens and the grass. I like those to be more reds, so what we're going to do is we're going to bump it up just a little bit so we get what we like. I like that. And then... Let's go back to let's start with skin tones. We're gonna hue versus hue. I'm gonna click on dock skin tones right here. And let's make them a little bit more, not red, but more yellow to make them pop. And then to go back with skin tones, we're gonna go to the color wheels and match. And we're at the mid tones. We're gonna bring the contrast down a little bit. I like mine to. I like my shadows to be very dark and to pop more than just having a film look to it. And let's see, shadows, we're gonna bring down a little bit more too. Let's bring the exposure up just a tad. So let's go back to the color wheels and match, or the curves, I mean. And let's go to hue versus luma. 
First thing, let's go to the sky. Click on the blues, adjust those a little bit. Now you're not seeing too, anything really crazy going on right now, and that's because all of these little changes will come together in the final result, which you'll see. Let's see what else. I also wanna bring down the brightness in his jacket. So eyedropper in the hue versus Luma, choose his jacket, I'm gonna do it one more time. And then let's see what we can do with this. Darken it a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then on Adam's jacket, I'm gonna go to hue versus saturation. I wanna bring down the saturation a little bit in the red. So I take the eyedropper, click on the red, and bring it down a little bit. But also, let's go back to hue versus hue, click on Adam's jacket again, and let's just change the hue a little bit of the red. I like more of a orange red than I do a pure red. There we go. So let's go back to curves. We're gonna bring the highlights just a little bit. We're gonna bring them up. There we go. And let's look at this. All right, that looks good. I do wanna bring the shadows. I wanna crush the blacks a little bit more. Just a little bit more. There we go, let's see what that looks like. I'm still not feeling his skin tone. I feel like his skin tone needs to pop more. See. Also, let's go to basic correction. I'm gonna turn the temperature up to 2.0. Make it a little bit more warm. Then see on the tint. Let's bring it to the magenta side a little bit. Oh, that's no. Nope, no magenta. See, you gotta play around with it, of course. That's part of it. Until you get the final that you want. Actually, let's go to color wheel. We'll go to highlights. I know I'm kinda, you're seeing me contradict on it, but on the color wheel, bringing the highlights down and up. Actually, let's make them pop a little bit more. Go back to curves. Go into the red space of the curve. And that looks a little, that looks pretty good to me right there. Oh, no. You know one thing, and it's too warm. I'm gonna get rid of the warmth. And then I'm gonna bring the highlights down back again. Now I like that. There we go, now we cooking. Let me extend this clip so we can watch it play out. Yep. Perfect, I like that. Okay, now that we're in the second clip with the model and the low light uh, color grade, let's start with the first thing, which is what I always start with, is curves. So we're gonna place our two points, one on shadows, one on highlights, then we're gonna drag the shadows down. We're gonna crush the blacks and drag the shadows down. There we go, that looks decent. We're starting at a good base and we're gonna crank that saturation up. So let's go to saturation, go to basic correction and let's go 117. So first thing first is what I noticed is her skin tones. Because of the light behind her, which has a green gel and then the light on side of her, which is a red gel, it's starting to affect where my key light is, which is at set at daylight. And as you can see right here in the skin tone, it's got a very heavy uh, green tint to it. So we're gonna go to our color wheels and match. And let's start with the mid-tones, just like we did before. We're gonna put some warmth into it. This one may take a little bit more work because of the colors we're dealing with. Okay. Actually, let's reset that. We're not gonna go to color match, we're actually gonna go to curves. And we're gonna do individual color changes. So, let's start with the hue versus hue. We're gonna take our eyedropper tool, go to the center right here where her skin tone is, her natural skin tone, but it's being changed because of the lighting situation. And we're just gonna adjust till we find the right one that I feel fits what, with her natural skin tone. Mm, more towards yellow. 
it's still adding a there we go okay now we're gonna go hue versus saturation do the same thing but I want to boost that color there we go now we're boosting her natural skin tone in there and at the same time let's go to hue versus luma I'm gonna click on the red just because as you can see in her neck right here how that red light is doing it, it looks I don't like how it looks it's really messing with me so we're just gonna play with it we still want the red in her face we still want that light to be thick all right let's go back to hue versus saturation again this is all you're just gonna experiment and this is kind of what we're doing right now I don't mm, we'll keep it the same we'll try hue versus hue real quick because uh, I don't want it to change though okay we're just gonna leave that alone for right now but I do want to go to the greens. I want to make the greens really pop. So a hue versus hue. Go to a real like money green. There we go. I like that. And let's go back to basic correction. Let's bump the exposure up just a little. Not to where you see her T-zone right here on her face. We don't want these highlights to be blown. We still want that skin tone in there. That natural skin tone. And then maybe let's cool it down a little bit on the temperature so let's go negative five or actually let's go negative two very subtle very subtle uh changes being done and overall is going to make this look totally different from the beginning and of course i forgot to say we're at uh i forgot to say we're at color wheels and match so I'm going to the shadows on that wheel where I do a little teal look to it. Uh, let's go, let's go a little bit cold. Let's see. Yep. I like that, that looks good. Okay. Mid tones. Let's see if we can't bring out some more warmth in them. So the mid tones are basically, I should have said this in the beginning, the mid tones are basically what you would use. That's like where your skin zone area is, is your mid tones. And of course, highlights and then shadows, which I'm sure you already know possibly by now. Hold on, let's stretch this out and just see. Let it play. Yup, this looks really good go back yeah and that's basically it guys it's pretty simple probably more simple than you expected it to be um, of course it's the hard part is your eye it's training your eye knowing what to look for knowing when to do what to the image and of course it always boils down to personal preference but anyways I hope this video helped you out if it did smash that like button and also hit those notification bells on because i'll be posting more regular i hope you've noticed i'm trying to get a little bit more regular it may not be once a week or twice a week it's it's coming at least once every two weeks trying to keep up with the demand on youtube and then also my real client work so trying to balance that sometimes it's hard but i'm feeling i'm figuring it out we're all figuring it out. So I hope y'all enjoy this and I will see you on the next one. Peace guys.